This week on The Choice. Because here, you can't shoot that way at all. Well, I finally uh, get to say something I've wanted to say for a lot of years. Welcome to Iowa. The Choice is about three things. Real honey. Going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you love. Real adventure from the mountains of Canada to the deserts of Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. Drop the pen. That one's for you. Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Can you make it over it? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this week's The Choice. Hi. This Hi. week, <laughs> yeah, nice. This week we're gonna head to Iowa. You know, we're from Illinois. Yep. But probably the premier state for white tail deer. Well, I don't know if you would. It, 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 it's come really on. good. There's a lot of states out there. You know, you gotta, I was one of them. It is. So and Illinois. Scott and Jess are gonna head out there. They're gonna go spend some time in our zip cabin. Yep. Yep. They're gonna see why we love it so much there, and why I'd love to to move there. Oh, here we go again. Um, Lucky logo this week is Rocky. Rocky, get rocktified, baby. If you happen to see it, we'll tell you what to do with it in the show, and we should just let them head out. And yeah, I don't do you want to try to jump with that no. electric fence again in the plot, plot there? No. 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 Did you come close? No, I hit it. Oh, let's get going with the footage, shall we? I think we should right now. <laughs> nice. Well, it's the 2012 season, and we found out that we were gonna get to apply for Iowa late season muzzleloader. And once we drew, I mean, it was, there was no turning back. Scott and I were excited. We couldn't wait to get out. We got to hunt on Ralph and Vicky's farm, stay in the Zook cabin, and we were ready to go. Well, we're uh, 127 miles into the trip. We've been blasting out on 80 for a couple hours, decided to pull off and get some food. As soon as we got down to about 20 miles per hour, I could hear a weird noise. Looked back and I saw the wheel wobbling on the trailer. So our trip's not starting out all that well. I mean, we're halfway to our destination, out to Iowa to go hunting, and we lose the bad boy buggy and trailer. Bye bye buggy. So now we don't have a, a way to get to our stands, so we're gonna have to hike it. Oh well, back to the basics, right? Well, we got to our destination. We pulled into Ralph and Vicky's Zook cabin. Well, we just got to the cabin and uh, seems to be that they put up a gate since we've been here last, and it's a combination lock. I have a key for the house, but no combination for the lock. So we're trying to get a hold of somebody that might know this combination because Ralph and Vic are in Mexico. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start unloading the truck, hauling it in, and uh, when we can get the combo, we'll drive in. Till then, we're out of luck. We got all of our gear unloaded. We had the night to go scout, and they had told us about a, a road where we could watch what's called the inner field. Now the inner field is where we wanna be. Nice buck, just went over the hill. Nope, he's still. So we went out with spotting scopes and binoculars that night, sat on the road, and we watched a bunch of deer come out into that field. It really got us excited. Well, our first night out, Scott is up, and we're sitting on the inner field, and there's a bunch of deer coming out, and all of a sudden, a buck steps out. We could see the horns coming through the brush, and wouldn't you know, it had one horn. What do you think? I can't think. Oh, 
is uh, my heart beating pretty good right now. Beautiful buck. Only problem is he's only got one good side. Did you get a good look at him to see if he's broke off? He just looked deformed to me. It was hard to tell for sure. I did. I'd, I'd sure hate to shoot that buck if he was broke off, if he was bad genetics. Totally different story. It was a big mature whitetail, but we elected to pass on it first night in Iowa, muzzleloader season, half rack. We weren't gonna take that shot. As the week went on, we were seeing a lot of deer. We weren't quite seeing the deer that we wanted. And we looked at the weather forecast and there was a bad storm coming. So we knew if we could hunt that night before, there'd be a good chance that we would see some deer up on their feet. We're looking for a really good night tonight. We've, we were setting the blind up to a deer coming on the field already. Just to explain what we got coming, we got a uh, winter storm booner coming. Expected uh, five to eight inches of snow and blowing blizzard-like conditions tonight. So we're we're expecting the deer to be on their feet early. We got in here and the deer are on the feet early. We saw a two and a half year old buck already and some toes. So uh, I'm excited. Scott's excited and uh, we're gonna get it done tonight. We'll stick with us. We have a snowstorm coming in and it starts to rain about noon. And we hunted the inner field. During, while it was raining, knowing that this storm was coming in and it was supposed to turn to snow and sleet that night. So it's been drizzling now and it's getting probably about half an hour before dark. And we're starting to see a couple deer come out and none of them are walking out and stopping. They're all running to the middle of the field. All of a sudden I look up and there's a shooter buck. And I told Scott, shooter, there's a deer. I wanna, I wanna get this deer, I wanna kill this deer. This deer doesn't stop. He does just what every other deer does. He runs right out into the middle of the field and he stops at 185 yards. I missed him. I missed him. I put the old Thompson Center on. I had sighted in all fall. I pulled the trigger and all we saw was dirt fly underneath the deer. <laughs> this is the night we've been waiting for. Blizzard coming in. Temperatures dropped in the last 10 minutes. A bunch, a bunch of deer compiling into the field. Good buck comes in and uh, I missed him. Yeah, that's right. Just missed again. But I got to experience the night I had a great, great night with Scott sitting in the blind. We were laughing about it. All you can do at that point is laugh. It is the, uh, the last hurrah. We survived the apocalypse. The uh, 21st has come and gone. So the Mayans were wrong again. That means we get to enjoy a beautiful afternoon in southwestern Iowa during the late muzzleloader season. Last day, tater me. We've been trying, that's all you can do. Same plan, different day. Those three yearlings from this morning, I think are back out in the beans. They seem pretty hungry, so they'll probably ignore us as we sneak around the corner. Hopefully. We've had a pretty good week. We've uh, hit this field pretty hard every night. We've uh, taken advantage of south winds. Seen a lot of deer. We've already seen a lot of deer tonight actually got busted by a bachelor group when we were trimming some shooting lanes, but uh, fortunately for us, no shooters in there. One, maybe, but he was broken up. We've been seeing a lot of deer, so I think that trend will continue. Just haven't seen the big boys yet. Maybe tonight, last night. Oh, that's a pretty cool deer. We've got drill camera pictures of him. He's right at the board line of what we want to shoot. Um, what's saving him is he's busted up a little bit. Like I said earlier, this is our last day, but last day for this trip, the season goes until uh, January 10th, so there's a lot of time left to get out, so. Can't 
shoot a great one if you if you don't pass deer like this. There's one looking this way, one looking to the left. Yeah, there's quite a few deer down at the other end. Is that him looking at us? Yeah, look at all these deer flying from the left. Probably another stinking coyote. Well, the rest of the week, we had high winds, we had snow. We saw some good deer, just not the deer that we wanted to, to go after. So end of our trip, we decided, you know what? We have to get back here for at least two or three days after the first of the year. You know what? Scotty and Jess had some great encounters out there, they but they didn't. didn't connect, and it's Christmas time. Yes, and you know what? The most important thing is family. So That's go right. home, you know, visit, say hi, say Merry Christmas, give them a kiss, and then get back out in the field, because I know they're gonna. And that's what they did. Well, we're uh, at about the end of our six hour drive out to uh, Southwest Iowa. It is uh, round two of the late muzzleloader season. Jess Johnson's with me. Uh, we can only uh, hunt about three days for this trip. So what we decided to do is bring some buddies with us to film so we can uh, each be hunting at the same time, get a little more bang for the buck. Um, we were hoping to have a little bit more snow on the ground, but uh, you know, it's all right. Southwest Iowa, it's a good place to be hunting late season. Muzzle loaders are ready to go. First morning we're here and uh, we're gonna set up a new spot for this afternoon. Beach and I are going to go in along our farthest north hedgerow, and we got a spot where a lot of deer are coming out of a, a thicket. Scott's going to hunt the same field we hunted last night. We're going to try to split each other up tonight and see if uh, we can't get onto some of these bigger deer. Listening to previous landowners and how many deer are in here and stuff, and how that train runs, I think we're set up really good. So we'll find out tonight. We've got this fence that runs east and west of the property on the north side of this field. South wind will obviously set up on this north side. The problem is a lot of low hanging limbs, you know, and as a hunter you want to try to have as many shooting limbs as possible, but it's just not possible here. We just got to pick a spot. We've got a couple ghillie suits. We'll throw them up on this fence and uh, hunker down here and uh, wait for uh, the action. There's still quite a bit of snow on that opposite bank, so we'll be able to see the deer moving around in the woods. Wind is perfect. Let's see what happens. Well, we're all settled in. We got our little nest built, and uh, now it's just waiting on the deer. Scott and Shane are down on the hidden field again. I think we'll see deer too. We just don't know what we're going to see up here. We have we don't know how many or, or what, but there's a lot of good runs going through here, so we're pretty excited about it. If nothing else, we're gonna have fun. Uh, got my good buddy BJ with me tonight filming, and uh, we're having fun in Iowa. That's what it's all about. We had some does walk out and BJ and I were having fun. I mean, we were cutting up in camp and we were, we made this home, this ground blind uh, right up next to a fence line. And oh, it was about a half an hour before dark and here come six does out in the field and one thumper doe, just a thumper.
slipping out, baby. He's down. He's down. <laughs> we did it. We did it, man. <gasps> He's down. He's down. Oh, man. I tell you what, that is cool. We've got some trail camera pictures that deer. He's down. Oh, we did it. Shane and I have been, uh, we've been hitting it pretty hard this year. We've had a lot of uh, interruptions. We've had some illness. We've had uh, work. And work always gets in the way. Uh, Southwest Iowa. I've always won on Iowa. Finally got an opportunity for a place to hunt. Ralph and Vicky have a beautiful farm out here. And I got me a buck. I'm so happy. Well, having all these does standing in front of us, we were still waiting for a buck, but as soon as Scott shot and these does started getting nervous, I said, you know what, Beej, it's time to fill the freezer for the hush program. I ask him, are you on him? Yep, I'm on him. I take aim, I shoot. Shane and I did it again. Shane's good luck when he's filming me. Oh, now Jess just shot, Jess just shot. Oh, that'd be cool if we double up tonight. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tater. Oh, he's a nice deer. Uh oh, he broke his G3 off. I didn't even notice that. That's all right. That's all right. He's still a dandy of a deer. Wanted to hunt Iowa for a lot of years and, uh, you know, nowhere to go. And I really can't afford to uh, hunt with the big outfitters. And, uh, Ralph and Vicky bought this property and uh, Ralph said, why don't you put in for a tag? And uh, been trying it for a few years. Got a tag this year. Late season muzzleloader. A uh, huge thank you to Ralph and Vicky for the opportunity to come out here and uh, hunt this farm. Beautiful Zook cabin we're staying in. I think uh, if I could, I'd sell my house. I'd uh, buy a Zook cabin on a nice farm and uh, I'd be happy, happy, happy. Just shot, I'm anxious to see what, uh, what he put on the ground. Wanna give a shout out to Shane for putting up with me. I appreciate it, buddy. Ralph and Vicky, big thanks. Without you guys, I wouldn't be out here. Ended up, Scott shot the buck that, that he had been wanting, and he heard us shooting right after he had shot, and uh, he thought we doubled. Deer runs off just over the ridge. I think I made a good shot. I'm turning back to the camera, and we're talking, and all of a sudden, BJ's face just goes white. And uh, I know that feeling. He forgot to hit the record button or the record button just didn't go on. We just started cresting this hill. And all, there, was, there was eight does in that group. We just saw seven run off. So I'm hoping that uh, we had a doe down. We're, gonna, we're just gonna sneak up over this crest and see what we have before we run out of light. Well, Beach, we did it. We did it. The old TC did its job. Big old head on that deer. Needless to say, uh, I took a deer for the Hush program. He actually donated his buck to the Hush program, so we helped two needy families that year, and Iowa has a great program for that, and we were glad to help. So are they bucks or are they? One buck, one dog. And the main thing was, is, as, as we harvested a deer, we got to help some needy family out with the Hush program. Good. Hey Scotty, Jesse, good job out there in Iowa. And you know what's Way really to go, cool boys. is the Hush program. Help us stop hunger in Iowa. That program is so cool because what happens is, is that when you buy your licenses, you automatically donate money to that program. And then if you shoot a deer and you're helping manage your land, or if your freezer's already full and you're still managing your land, you can drop it off at any of those butchers and they're gonna go ahead and process it and give it to a needy family. That's well, awesome. Well, the bottom line here is the proof that what sportsmen and women do everywhere. It's not just in Iowa, right. but Iowa has definitely, you know, raised the bar in that participation. Absolutely. Piece. If you happen to see the Lucky Logo, which was Rocky. Get rockified, baby. You need to log on to choicetv.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to get some great stuff from Rocky, as well as from other, some of our other manufacturers. What are you doing up there? I'm getting ready. You need to okay. hand this up. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, are I'm you ready. Sure? I ain't, I ain't you think getting I can actually... by no more electric, that's okay. for sure. Okay. Do you want the top? Yes, I want that. That's what you want, okay. I'm trying to get it up there without. <laughs> wait, wait. You got it? <laughs> no, you're hooked. Vic, look, I got hair. Look, I got even more. Oh, hey, great. Hey, thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you see next, next week. week. I feel like um, I have extensions on. I really feel like, like Chewbacca now. All right, say nothing. <laughs> I learned I don't know that. how to do that noise. <laughs>
If you're what? Chewbacca. Chewbacca? I must be an Ewok. 